In our fascinating world, animals come in all shapes and sizes, but there are those whose dimensions seem truly incredible. Throughout the history of our planet, there are traces of true titans whose sizes can shock and amaze. Let's take a look at the largest creatures ever to inhabit our planet and try to imagine what their existence was like in a world where immense size was an integral part of their being. Many dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era were much larger than modern elephants, hippos, and rhinos. The answer to the question of the largest dinosaur in history remains a mystery for paleontologists, considering the limited number of fossils found and their deep burial in the ground. However, there is nothing preventing us from discussing the most significant of the known representatives of ancient animals and determining which dinosaur holds the title of the largest. The largest dinosaur on Earth, based on well-preserved fossil evidence, is believed to be Patagotitan Maiorum, which lived 100 million years ago. Its remains were first discovered in 2014 in Patagonia. Patagotitan, also simply called a titanosaur, is estimated to have weighed around 77 tons, with a length of 37 meters. It had a short torso and a long, thick neck. Patagotitan, like most of its sauropod relatives, fed on plants. Feeding such a colossal creature was undoubtedly challenging. The lack of sufficient food may have been a contributing factor to the species' extinction, or, alternatively, predators hunting for the clumsy young individuals and eagerly consuming dinosaur eggs may have played a role in the titan's disappearance. At the same time, there is a version that the largest dinosaur on Earth was Amphicoelius, presumed to have lived during the Jurassic period 160 million years ago. In the 19th century, scientists found a fragment of this dinosaur's vertebra, leading to the conclusion that its length could have been 60 meters, with a weight of 122 tons. However, the fragment of the remains was lost, and the existence of the gigantic Amphicoelius is currently only indirectly confirmed by science. The largest herbivorous dinosaur among the known ones, as already established, was Patagotitan. However, among its herbivorous counterparts, there were many other giants worth mentioning. For instance, Argentinosaurus was considered the largest dinosaur before the discovery of Patagotitan. The length of Argentinosaurus is estimated by scientists to range from 22 to 35 meters, and the weight of this herbivorous giant could exceed 100 tons. Even the largest carnivorous dinosaurs were significantly smaller than their herbivorous counterparts. Spinosaurus is the largest dinosaur among predators discovered by paleontologists to date. The spiky lizard reached a length of about 15 meters and weighed up to 22 tons. The dinosaur had terrifying spikes over 2 meters long growing from its back, forming a fin. Researchers also believe that Spinosaurus was the first dinosaur capable of swimming and even spent more time in the water than on land. The ancient monster, which lived approximately 97 million years ago, had a long snout and primarily preferred a diet of fish. At the end of the Paleogene, 30 million years ago, a gigantic ancient rhinoceros, resembling both a horse and a giraffe, inhabited Asia. Indricotherium also known as Parasaurotherium, is one of the largest terrestrial mammals in the history of the Earth. They reached heights of 5 meters and weighed up to 20 tons. These rhinoceroses were distinct from others with their short bodies on long and straight three-toed legs, featuring a significantly thickened middle toe and a small head on an exceptionally long neck. Despite their imposing appearance, they were not predators and fed on leaves and branches of trees. The lifestyle of Indricotherium was likely similar to that of modern large mammals, such as elephants and rhinoceroses, which have survived to the present day. 
Gigantopithecus is the largest representative of primates in history. The remains of the largest relic monkey are found in India, Thailand, and China. Paleontologists estimate the sizes of these giants based on preserved fossilized remains. Gorillas, considered the largest modern primates, are about half the size of Gigantopithecus. Standing on its hind legs, the three-meter monkey could effortlessly peer into the windows of the second floor of any modern building. The true King Kongs of the animal kingdom weighed over 500 kilograms. The tallest human would barely reach the relic monkey's chest and would appear minuscule in comparison. Most likely, Gigantopithecus were omnivores. Scientists believe that bamboo, similar to pandas, was a favorite part of their diet. In the wild, they had few natural enemies, and there was no need to develop defensive mechanisms or intellectual capacities. Therefore, the evolutionary process for this primate species reached a dead end. The closest prehistoric relative of the snake, Titanoboa, had truly formidable dimensions. Its body circumference exceeded a meter, stretched up to 15 meters in length, and weighed up to 1,000 kilograms. The reptile's dimensions were twice as large as those of an anaconda, the largest snake currently in existence. One shouldn't imagine that the enormous python quietly strangled its prey in steel-like embraces. Its hunting method resembled more of a crocodile's attack. The bloodthirsty monster ambushed its prey lurking in the water. Observing its target, it would suddenly launch a swift attack, instantly snapping its powerful jaws around the prey's neck. How fortunate it is that these monsters became extinct 60 million years ago. Arthropleura is the largest invertebrate in the history of the planet. And let's agree that we wouldn't want this creature to exist in our time, as some people may faint at the sight of ordinary centipedes. The situation is somewhat alleviated by the fact that not a single fossil has preserved a mouth. Based on this, it is hypothesized that these animals did not possess particularly large or well-sclerotized jaws. Apparently, they fed on plant-based food. It is possible that small arthropleuras were herbivores, while larger ones were omnivores, using their jaws for both plant consumption and hunting small animals. It is believed that an average-sized arthropleura could have consumed up to a ton of vegetation per year. Their well-armored exoskeleton, covered with spikes, is considered to have provided effective protection against predators, and they reached a length of two and a half meters. Ashdarchids were gigantic pterosaurs from the Cretaceous period with a wingspan of 15 meters. In terms of size, prehistoric pterodactyls could rival modern giraffes. They fed on carrion, fish, and small animals. Nature endowed Ashdarchids with a long neck, a small head with a sturdy beak, robust legs, and enormous wings that, when folded, touched the ground like crutches. This allowed the bird to move quickly, using not only its legs but also additional support. Paleontologists believe that bird ancestors couldn't fly for extended periods. They simply glided in air currents and had to launch themselves downward from cliffs to take off. Essentially, pterodactyls were precursors to modern gliders. They could reach dizzying heights without flapping their wings, but they were unable to lift off the ground independently due to weak muscles. Argentavis is the largest bird among all flying creatures known to modern science, with a wingspan of 7 meters. When you add a weight of 80 kilograms and a height of 2 meters to the equation, it becomes truly awe-inspiring. Such a bird could easily carry a human in its beak and offer it as a snack to its chicks. The ancient ancestor of birds effortlessly took prey from a saber-toothed tiger and instilled fear in large carnivorous predators. A female Argentavis could lay only one egg every two years. The chick grew slowly. It could only fend for itself after 18 months, and it reached maturity after 10 years. 
The largest prehistoric birds were long lived with a lifespan of up to 100 years. The size of the Megalodon is staggering when you realize that this monster preyed on whales. This bloodthirsty prehistoric shark inhabited the ocean depths three million years ago. The gigantic beast, measuring over 20 meters in length and weighing 60 tons, devoured any living creature, from fish and dolphins to enormous whales. Its powerful jaws, lined with rows of sharp teeth, easily slice through the fins and tails of large prey, rendering them unable to move. The Megalodon would then forcefully ram the helpless victim, injuring internal organs and voraciously devour it. The open mouth of this ancient predator was of colossal proportions. It could easily accommodate a small boat. The crushing force of its terrifying jaws was simply fantastical, up to 180,000 newtons. It is believed that these voracious monsters became extinct due to hunger, as changes in sea levels led to the disappearance of many species that formed the ancient shark's food base. Another reason for the Megalodon's extinction was smarter whales. Through evolution, they became more agile and attentive, easily swimming away from the cumbersome Megalodon. Another species of underwater monsters that lived concurrently with the Megalodons was the Leviathan Melvilli. The remains of Leviathans are awe-inspiring. This predatory whale, a hybrid of a killer whale and a sperm whale, had formidable dimensions up to 17 meters in length. About three meters of this length consisted of a massive head with a wide mouth equipped with double-edged teeth. Each tooth was up to 36 centimeters long, and its base diameter reached 14 centimeters. Even predatory dinosaurs of the Mesozoic era had smaller teeth. Carnivorous predators engaged in deadly battles with large sharks, devoured their own kind, destroyed whales, and fought against underwater lizard pliosaurs. The titans of ancient seas preferred to hunt large prey. If a human came into its jaws, the leviathan would have swallowed them like a fly. Blue whale, the largest animal currently living on Earth, although the exact maximum size is something that can only be speculated. It is believed that this remarkable species can reach 33 meters, but the largest scientifically confirmed individuals have a length ranging from 26 to 29 meters. Blue whales surpass any dinosaur that ever lived and are much larger than the largest living terrestrial animal on the planet. An adult blue whale is larger than three prehistoric Triceratops. Life exclusively in the sea for over 40 million years freed whales from evolutionary technical constraints suffered by terrestrial creatures, including dinosaurs. Thanks to buoyancy, whales can be much heavier without being crushed by their own weight. A 30-meter-long blue whale can weigh 150 tons or more, which is three times heavier than a dinosaur of the same size. If we don't consider tonnage, both the largest sauropods and whales reached lengths of about 30 meters. This may not be an evolutionary coincidence, but an upper limit that animals may not surpass without radical changes in their biology. We hope that this journey into the worlds of ancient and modern times, inhabited by colossal creatures, has brought you joy and amazement. Remember that the history of our planet is rich not only in events, but also in astonishing beings that have made it their home. If, like us, you are fascinated by the mysteries of the cosmos, don't forget to support our channel. Give a like to this video, share it with your friends, and, of course, subscribe to our channel to not miss out on new captivating stories about space.